Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading may apply to all of you watching today. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and for your situation and release the rest to the universe. So let's see what the universe wants to tell us for this reading today, please. What do we need to hear? What do we need to know? I should never have let you go. Well, what a way to start the reading today, guys. And your person knows they shouldn't have let you go. They have regret for this. They do feel remorse for it as well. And they are just kicking themselves in the hiney for allowing you out of their life. They are understanding now that not having you in their life does not fill them with this sense of peace, security, stability, safety, and it certainly does not give them the love that they need and want to experience from you again. This is why they're saying I should never have let you go. However, there is a reason why you are not in each other's lives right now. And while it is difficult for both of you to go through this space where you're not, together. It is important because you are each growing and evolving through this time that you are apart. And it is providing for each of you the life lessons and experiences that you need so that you can be better partners to each other. You mirror and reflect to each other those things within yourselves that you needed to both work on. And that was happening while you were spending time together. So for instance, perhaps you mirrored back to your person the fact that they needed to work on abandonment issues, rejection issues. Perhaps you showed them that they need to be able to be more expressive of their feelings and of their love. And this is something that they haven't been used to. So they had to let you go to be able to fix that and you do want them to return with all of these things that have held them back from you and this relationship. You want all of that to be gone. So actually letting you go for the moment, for this time that you are apart, is a necessary part of this journey because this is where the growth happens for each of you. And if you still have some things within you, you guys watching the reading that you need to work on, that you need to address during this time you are preparing for a union, it sounds so much better than separation because it's what you're doing. You're preparing for a union. This is the time to get ready for that union by addressing those final remnants of anything within you that needs work because this is what your person is doing as well, that they regret letting you go because they don't like their life without you and they don't feel that sense of wholeness and completeness without you being in their life. I have nightmares about what I did to you. Well, do you feel your person does have a lot of bad thoughts about what they've done to you and they could very well even be having nightmares? about their actions and words that cause so much damage to you and to this relationship. This is part of this regret. I should never have let you go. And they do have these dreams about you as well. Perhaps they are nightmares about the things that they did that were so hurtful to you, to this connection, but also hurtful to themselves because they robbed themselves of this love when they created all of this chaos and confusion between the two of you. And all of that was because they weren't ready for the power that is you, the power of this connection, or for this great big love that is between you either. They had to get to the place where they were comfortable with what they were feeling and experiencing inside. And you guys know what it's like. The intensity of this connection with your person is off the chart. And were they ready for it? Probably not. They may have been in the very beginning and everything may have been going smoothly. And then something within them just triggered and set them off. This is it. I can see where this relationship is going. I can't allow this to happen. I have to create 
sabotage. I have to put distance and space between us because I can see my future unfolding and I'm not ready. I need to be ready. So this is why they created the disconnect between you, but they are tossing and turning at night when they go to bed. They try to go to sleep, but they can't. They think about you and they take all those trips down memory lane and relive your experiences and your memories and they replay your conversations, the good ones the bad ones, the in-between ones, but also the ones where they, more importantly, hurt you. And this is something that weighs very heavily on their heart and on their soul. And sometimes, yes, it does cause them to have bad dreams. And for some of you out there, perhaps as well, they are having nightmares about what they did to you. And for some of you watching the reading, perhaps you are having nightmares about what happened in this connection between you and this person, because it is a deeply hurtful thing for you. What happened? Their words, their actions, their behaviors that were low vibration, that brought so much chaos, so much drama and confusion into your life. And you could as well be picking up some of these nightmares that are coming from your person because you do share that very strong telepathy and empathy with this person still, even during the time that you are away from each other, because that connection is eternal. They may not have, they may be saying here, I should never have let you go, but they have a deeper understanding of this connection now. They have learned that during the time that you have been apart from each other. But these nightmares, it's like when they go to bed and they have these nightmares and they see and relive a lot of the experiences that you had with each other, it's like they wake up in a full blown panic. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that. What did I do? Why did I do this? I shouldn't have run from this connection. I shouldn't have ghosted. I should have been more honorable. I should have respected this love. But now I'm without it. And I don't like my life without you in it. This is what I'm hearing from your person. But they will figure it out in order to make their way back to you. Because that is part of the divine plan of the universe and why you are in each other's lives. I'm really afraid you don't love me the way I love you. Well, this is just a fear-based thought that comes in from your person. And that is something that, as you know, lives in their head. I really feel, though, that deep down inside their heart and in their soul, they know that you still have this love for them because your souls are connected and your souls are in constant communication with each other through your dreams but through the empathy and telepathy that you share with this person. So although there, ne there may be no communication happening in the 3D space at the moment, it is still occurring in the spiritual realm. It is still occurring in 5D. And each of your souls know what the other is doing. That is how this connection works, which is why your person's soul, deep in their soul and in their heart, they know that you still love them. But in their head, in their physical reality, they could be a little bit fearful or perhaps even a little bit panicked at the moment that you don't love them the way that they love you, especially because they definitely are aware because they've spent some time here in self-reflection and review of all of their actions and behaviors and everything else that you may not take them back and that you may not love them the way that they love you. They're hoping that you do, but in their heart and in their soul, they know that you do love them. Okay. But their fear is going to work on them and it's going to cause them to start putting feelers out to you to test the water, to see if you're going to be willing to talk to them, listen to them, spend time with them because they want to start making their way back to you for this relationship. There is so much more going on than you realize. Well, I feel that this can be a couple of things here, guys. First of all, I feel that it tells us that your person is going through changes. And many times people go through, well, we all go through change at our own rate, at our own speed, right? We're all on a different 
ladder on the spiritual of evolution and trying to complete our soul's journey for each lifetime and we can't really see or experience everything that someone else is going through even though we are connected to them because it's not time for us to see it yet so I feel what this is telling us is your person is saying, I am changing, I am growing, transforming and evolving, and I am becoming the person who you need me to be. My growth is happening. I am making slow but steady progress. I am working towards this goal. This is what your person is saying. But the, the reality of it is, is that you can't see it yet in the 3D world where you live. And that is because it's not time for you to see it yet. Whatever those reasons are, the universe has its own reasons for doing things the way that they do them. And all we can do is just accept them and surrender to what they're doing. But there is change happening for your person. And these changes are helping your person become the one who will never let you go ever again because they are growing up and becoming accountable and responsible to you, to this relationship, to themselves, and to the universe. Because in these kind of connections, we do have a responsibility to the universe as well because they're the ones who put us in it anyway. And it's a, for a purpose. There's a higher purpose for this connection. Your person is seeing that as well. It tells us that, yes, they are growing and they are evolving. But what else they are saying here is that they're heartbroken without you. They are not happy without you in their life. And they know that they need to get in gear here and start doing something to make it happen. They know they need to test the water. They know they need to reach out to see if you're even going to respond to them. Because in their head, where their fear lives, they may not know. But they are going to test the water. They want to let you know that they are thinking about you, that you are on their mind. They can't stop these thoughts of you. They're having nightmares about what they did to you. They're dreaming about you. They're thinking about you throughout the day as well. But it's also telling us that your person is having to deal with some difficulties in their life at the moment that is causing them to wake up so much more than you ever dreamed possible because your person is saying here very loud and clearly, I should never have let you go. I should not have run. I should not have ghosted. I should not have sabotaged this relationship. I see that now. I've had an awakening, I get it, and I am coming back so that we can start this relationship again because I long to hold you in my arms and be with you again. I can still feel you. I feel our connection getting stronger. You guys watching the reading, can you still feel your person? At times, does it feel that they are sitting right next to you on the sofa? or sitting next to you in the car, or at the dinner table, or lying in bed perhaps. You can just feel their energy as if they are right there next to you, especially when you wake up in the morning or fall asleep at night in that dream space, in that place between being asleep and being awake. Sometimes you can feel your person, or you feel them brush by you, or you feel this gentle touch on your shoulder or on the top of your head, and you know that it is the energy of your person. Well, your person feels it as well, and they are aware that this connection for the two of you is getting stronger every day, and that is part of that divine plan that I was talking about a few minutes ago. Just because nothing is happening that you can see in the 3D world at the moment, it does not mean that nothing is happening. It is a question of your faith. It is a question of your trust in what you know within yourself, in your heart, and in your soul concerning this connection with your person. Because this time away from each other in this preparing for union space is designed to allow the connection to get stronger. And it is getting stronger. And that is what is ultimately going to bring the two of you back into each other's lives because the soul's urge 
to merge. The souls want to come together and the souls are in constant communication and they call out to each other all the time. When you're asleep, when you are awake, some of you are very possibly even aware that that is happening because you can feel and experience your person as if they are right there next to you and sometimes you may even be hearing their voice just coming at you out of nowhere or you turn around and you think they're there but they're not that is because this connection between you and this person is getting stronger every day in every way so have faith that this person is coming back around because based on what we see here I really feel your person is having a difficult time and they are in a bit of a panic and because they may be in this bit of a panic it is going to cause them to reach out and test the waters with you because they are dying to know here if they still have this chance to come back into your life so let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear, please? This is the Page of Swords. Well, the Page of Swords is all about a message coming from your person. I did say they were going to test the waters, and that is about sending you a message or calling or texting or emailing, perhaps even showing up at your house. But the Page of Swords is someone who's trying to figure out what's going on with you kind of like on the QT, on the hush hush. Perhaps they are asking about you to people who know you, acquaintances, mutual acquaintances, perhaps even some of your friends. Perhaps they're trying to peep into your life through any sort of social media or apps that you have in common. Please only take that if it resonates. Not everyone uses social media or apps or anything. The bottom line is they are trying to figure out what's going on with you to get a hit of your energy, to see if you are still there, to see if you have moved on and they want to look at your pictures. They want to connect to you. Now, obviously, the easiest thing to do is going to be for them to just reach out and dial your numbers and hit send and get this communication flowing between the two of you. But at the moment, they're still in this place of feeling a little bit of fear. They're trying to peep into your life, perhaps. Even if you live in the same town, they're driving by your house or walking by your house or trying to see what's going on with you. That is definitely the energy of that page of swords. But it also tells us a message is coming in from your person. The page of swords is an air sign. So that is Aquarius. Libra and Gemini, but you do not have to be an air sign for this reading to work for you or resonate with you. These are collective readings and they are for everyone. We just call out the signs because so many people have asked us to. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? Well, this is the Two of Swords. This is all about getting out of this place where things are stuck. It is about your person making a decision. And that decision is about what they're going to say to you because it comes next to that page of swords and how they're going to say it. But the two of swords is actually a card of two-way communication because swords are air and that is things like ideas, communication, thoughts and decisions. Your person has been spending a lot of time here thinking about you, thinking about what they're going to say. And that could as well be why they're having nightmares about you as well, or dreaming about you quite a bit at night. Because as they think about you when they go to sleep, they hope it's going to allow them to have that meeting with you in that 5D space, in that spiritual realm, where the two of you can connect in that way. But this is all about getting out of this place where things are stuck and getting things to the place where they can start moving between the two of you because that page of swords is about them initiating communication with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? What is going on here, please? 
the Queen of Cups. Well, the Queen of Cups is all about love, emotions, feelings, intuition, and it definitely supports this card. I'm really afraid you don't love me the way I love you. This is about your person's love for you, the Queen of Cups is. They love you with all of their heart, all of their mind, and all of their soul. Because the Queen of Cups is the most powerful card for love. She is the ruler of the emotional realm, the Queen of Cups is. And that is all about the love that your person feels for you. But it also tells us your person sees you as someone who is very loving, very supportive, very wise, very nurturing. You have a lot of compassion, not only for your person, but perhaps also for others that are um, unfortunate, or perhaps you even have a great compassion for animals as well. They see you as someone who's very generous in terms of helping in those kind of situations. The Queen of Cups is a water sign, so that is Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. But again, you don't have to be a water sign or an air sign for this reading to work. These are collective readings and they are for everyone. Please just take from this reading what resonates for you and release the rest to the universe. But this Queen of Cups is about your person showing up for you and being more emotionally expressive and vulnerable, telling you how they feel, showing you how they feel, because they are acknowledging here that I need to tell you how I feel about you because it is the only thing that is going to shut down this mental chatter and all of this other stuff that I'm going through right now that's making me kind of crazy and making me feel like I'm in a bit of a panic. I've got to do something about it. I need to act. I need to take action. This is what your person is saying. It also supports this card. I feel our connection getting stronger because the Queen of Cups is all about the intuition that you share with them. And they are feeling it as well as you are. You guys know each other better than anyone has ever known either one of you. You just get each other. That is what I'm hearing coming in from your person. And they're acknowledging that. And that is an... That is something that they have always been aware of, you guys watching the reading. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? This is the hermit. Well, the hermit kind of makes sense because it is the space where the two of you are at the moment. The Hermit is all about kind of like being in this space of self-imposed isolation. And this is probably what is happening for most of you watching the reading. Your person not talking, they've kind of turned away from you, but they're thinking about you. The Hermit is a very powerful card though, because it is about the inner work that is happening for your person while you are preparing for union. The Hermit supports it because the Hermit is a card of soul searching and doing that inner work and really digging deep to isolate all of those things that have caused them to act and behave in ways that dishonored this connection and dishonored you as well. They are figuring it out. But I do feel as well that this Hermit card today is saying your person is tired of being without you. They're tired of being alone. They want to come out of that Hermit cave and start making their way towards you to test the waters, to reach out and communicate with you. That is what they're saying with this Hermit card today. But this is where the growth for your person happens. Doing that soul searching, that self-reflection, isolating those things that they need to heal, release, and get rid of once and for all that have negatively impacted this relationship for the two of you that have been causing them nightmares so that they can get rid of it, so that it never impacts this relationship ever again. The Hermit is ruled by Virgo. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? The Ace of Cups. 
Well, the Ace of Cups is all about love, the beginning of love. And your person saying here, I fell in love with you the moment we first met. And you guys watching the reading probably felt something very similar as well. Or you felt that love at first sight moment too. Your person is acknowledging that here with this Ace of Cups. But it also tells us that they want to begin again with you because the Ace of Cups is all about starting over. But with their heart and their soul invested in this relationship as you move forward with each other to have this reunion, this reconciliation, and then hopefully move forward to this long-term partnership that comes with that Queen of Cups. Oh, and on the bottom, we do have the Two of Cups, which is about union for you and your person. Your person saying here, I want this romance with you. I long for this partnership with you. I missed so many opportunities to be with you and spend time with you in the past. And this is the Four of Cups. I don't ever want to go through or experience that ever again because I should have never let you go. I want you back in my life. And the Tower, something sudden and swift is coming from your person with that page of cups, which is about an apology, an offer of love coming from your person because they want to show back up in your life. See if you're willing to forgive them and extend this peace offering to you, this offer that they want to make to you to see if they can have this beginning again moment with you that they so very much want. You know... There's two kinds of fears, right? And there's the fear that caused your person to run to ghosts to deny this connection, which is really nothing but illusions that live in their head. And then there's what your person is feeling right now because they're having nightmares. They fear that you may not love them the way that they love you. That is the kind of fear that's going to cause them to act and follow through to reach out and communicate with you, okay? So that is what I was just hearing at that moment. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. Compassion. This card comes with number two, and look how that tree creature girl is showing so much compassion to this rabbit, this bird, and that might be a mouse, maybe. There's some deer here in the background as well. And your person, we already talked about the compassion that your person feels you have. Your person's actually hoping that you have enough compassion for them to forgive them and allow them back into your life so that you can begin again with that Ace of Cups card, but they see you as someone who's very compassionate and they do want to return this compassion and this generosity of love back to you as they come back and start seeing if you will spend time with them. Vibration. This card comes with number 14. And this is all about the vibration of you each individually. During the time that you've been apart from each other, you have each raised your vibration. And by raising this vibration individually, it will naturally lift the vibration of this relationship, which is how it transforms from this Ace of Cups. Where did that go? to this two of cups, raising the vibration of this relationship to get it to the place where you are partners with your person, but partners with the universe. This is a strong spiritual connection that you have with your person. But as the vibration of each of you is raised individually, it will lift up the vibration of your relationship. On this card, we have a whole lot going on. We do have a bat here. A bat, a B-A-T. If anyone resonates with bats, we also have 
I'm not sure if that's a moth or a butterfly, but we do have butterflies here as well, symbolizing the changes, symbolizing the transformation that is happening here in this connection with your person. I am not sure what a bat symbolizes, but I know, well, not off the top of my head, but I know it symbolizes something. If anyone knows that, please drop it in the comments. I would really appreciate that. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. This card comes with number 24, and this is Seek Seclusion. Hmm. So this is very much kind of like the Hermit card, isn't it? About being secluded, being in this self-imposed isolation. And if we look at this card very closely, these are giant peacock feathers, and this is sort of like this green man blowing this flower trumpet here. And we have a lot of fairies, and then we have this princess, I suppose, with her dress kind of like turning away from this knight riding his horse through this meadow in the light of the moon to get to this princess here. I feel that your person is a little concerned that you may have your back turned towards them. That is the picture. That is what I'm seeing in this image anyway. And it is about seeking seclusion. And perhaps you as well do have your back turned a little bit towards your person. And that is absolutely fine and acceptable, guys. It is absolutely fine because you need to heal for yourself as well. And perhaps we talked about this in the very beginning. Is there something within you that you still need to address? Is there some healing? Is there some self-reflection that you need to do for yourself to make sure that you are 150% ready for this person to come back into your life. So I feel this kind of like supports what we've been seeing here in this reading. I'm really afraid that you don't love me the way that I love you. This does not mean that you need to reach out to your person and tell them this, okay? This is the energy of this reading. Reaching out to them right now, unless you are already in communication with them at this time, is probably not the best thing to do because we do have them initiating communication with you coming up. We talked about that with that page of swords. But your person here saying, yes, I am really afraid you don't love me the way that I love you. But that is not going to stop them. Do not have your own panic set in that that is going to stop them from reaching out to you. Okay, guys, this is about them. They need to initiate. They need to take ownership and responsibility for letting you go, for hurting you, for breaking your heart, and for doing all of the other things that cause this disconnect between the two of you, they need to take responsibility and accountability for that. And this is what their plan of action is going to be. Because your person does not want to be without you. That has been very apparent throughout this entire reading today. So they're going to make their way back to you in the way that they need to do it. And this is very much the way that this reading is laying out here. But they know that they need to make amends here. They know that they have to take a stand and test the waters and reach out to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please open up. Well, good. That is all about that Queen of Cups card, your person opening up to you and telling you how they feel. This is definitely what needs to happen. It's what they need to do. And it is what they want to do. Because what I'm hearing from them is, I want to tell you how I feel because this is what needs to happen in order for us to build a solid partnership. And I know that I didn't do that in the past. And I have learned through this time where I have been in this hermit space, the actions that I need to take to build a solid relationship with you. That is what is coming in from your person. 
Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know, please? Panic. Well, that actually makes sense. We have been talking about throughout this reading today. I do feel that they are fearful. They're having anxiety about whether or not you've moved on, which would explain why they look at your social media with that page of swords, right? They're feeling a little anxious that you may not take them back because they don't they know in their heart and in their soul because the souls are in communication. But in their head, in their mind, the place where they think and overthink all of this stuff, they could be a little anxious that, or worried that you may not let them back into your life. But this is something they have to overcome by themselves. This is part of their life lessons and experiences that they need for this lifetime. That's what I'm hearing anyway, because they need to be the one that does something here by taking action, obviously. And that is very much what this person is going to do. They will take action the way that they need to, when they need to, how they need to. This is all about them standing up and doing something. And they have said that throughout this reading. I'm going to reach out. I'm going to communicate. I want to start over because I see this long-term partnership between us. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What other messages? Won't give up. Nope. This person's not going to give up. So do not think that if you don't respond or react right away, that they're going to give up. They are going to be determined to come at you with everything that they have. Although they are a little anxious that you may not take them back. This is something that they have to go through. They have to put forth the effort and the energy. They have to show you this determination. That is all part of the plan as well. The cards that I've been using is divine oracle messages. This is one of our decks and there is a link for these cards in the description as well as the purple message cards that started this reading and the cards that I'm about to use as well, which is our elemental goddess oracle. So let's see what else we need to know. For this reading today, please, what other messages does the collective need to hear? What do we need to know? What is happening here? What do we need to hear, please? Focused. Well, I do feel that this person is focused. Well, you know what, guys? I feel like they're focused on you right now. They are thinking quite a bit about you and about this connection. They are spending a lot of time thinking about the things that they did wrong. They are spending quite a bit of time taking trips down memory lane as well as having those dreams and perhaps even some nightmares about what they did to you that caused you so much hurt and so much heartache and heartbreak. But they're also focused on this healing stuff that comes with the hermit. The hermit tells us your person is going to get their act together because what came right after the hermit, the ace of cups, which was all about starting over and getting this relationship moving again. And then from the bottom, we pulled that powerful two of cups, which tells us your person wants this relationship with you. This person yearns for you. They miss you. They long for you. And that is a longing that comes from deep within their soul. That is what that is, okay? And you guys know that. You guys watching this reading, you know what that yearning is. It is a deep longing because you feel it yourselves, right? You feel it. You yearn for them. You long for them. Because you don't like being apart from them, just like they don't like being apart from you. This is speaking volumes to your person right now, this longing for you. And it is what's going to cause them to reach out and test the waters so you guys can start having communication, conversations, hanging out with each other. 
the key things to start rebuilding this relationship. Selfish. Well, I do feel your person is saying here that in the past they were very selfish and they do not want to be selfish with you anymore. All of their ego, all of their pride, all of their selfish, self-serving behaviors are going to be gone. This is about them wanting to restore or bring, for the first time perhaps, balance into this connection with you. This is about them giving back to you in ways that they perhaps never had. Because during the time that they have been in this hermit space, they have awakened to all of this and they see it, and they get it, and they understand it now with greater clarity than they ever have before. Being selfish is what caused for many of you, this person, to act and behave in ways that were so very hurtful to you. That is all going to be gone from this connection with your person, as well as their pride and ego, because... When they come back and present themselves to you again, they're going to be so much more humble than where they were before and vulnerable. Oh, that makes sense because we have the Queen of Cups and they will be vulnerable with you as well. The Queen of Cups is all about vulnerability. And you know, guys, being vulnerable is a strength. It is difficult to truly be vulnerable and let down your guard and let someone see into the inner core of who you are. But what your person is saying here is, I never should have let you go. I see now so much clearer than I ever have because letting you go has awakened me to what my life will be like without you. And I don't want it. I have done, spent, I have been spending time in this isolation place at the moment focused on myself and focused on what I needed to heal in order to show back up and be your partner. Yes, I need to be vulnerable. I need to open up to you and I need to take action and show up with this determination and letting you know that I'm not going to give up. I am not going to take no for an answer, but I'm also not going to give up on us or this connection. I want to work with you to build a partnership. I want this to be a solid union. I will not give up on you or on this love ever again, because I am going to take action soon and test the waters because I need to know if I still have this chance with you. My heart and my soul tell me I do. I just have to find that courage within me to reach out and communicate with you, but I am going to do it. All of this down here is about communication because my longing for you never goes away. That's something that doesn't give up either. And I want to spend time with you. I want this face to face that comes with that two of cups. And it's time for me to open my heart to you so that we can build a solid partnership. This is your reading for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to all of you watching today. Have a great day, everyone.